Hey everyone. I don't know when people stopped using logic and people stopped doing research, but at some point this happened and people are just believing everything that they hear everyone else saying and it's just causing so much chaos. The big, big deal with Roe v. Wade, people are going crazy and saying, oh my gosh, you're trying to, men are trying to control women's bodies and this and that and this and that. And then immediately the first thing they go is, these abortions save lives. What about the women who were raped and uh, the women who have been uh, victims of incest or, or something like that? I think that people who, men who are forcing women to do sexual acts that they don't want to do, I believe those types of men need to suffer. I don't support them. I don't support those acts to forcefully engage in any type of sexual activity with a woman is egregious and is despicable and to completely take emotion off the table when talking about something like this let's just use logic if you look at the numbers numbers don't lie if you look at the actual numbers incest and sexual assault victims are the vast minority of abortion patients Go look at the numbers. Go do the research yourself. You'll see that abortion uh, abortion patients are overwhelmingly women who didn't want to have a baby. They got pregnant but didn't want to have a baby. Very few of them are those who use the, um, I forget the actual name of the device, but the little insert that gives you birth control. A lot of them don't use that. So if you're going to talk about abortion, it's important to actually talk about the facts that surround it. The vast majority of people who are getting abortions are not people who are, um, who have life threatening issues with a pregnancy or who were sexually assaulted or who are victims of incest. In my personal belief, I believe that women who are victims as such should have, you know, that it should be legal for them, that they should have the right to do that because it's a life threatening thing and it's something they didn't ask for. But when consenting adults engage in sexual activity and a pregnancy as a result of that, those are responsibilities. I keep hearing so many quote unquote feminists talk about equal rights, yet if you really think about it, pregnancies aren't equal. They immediately, the man has the, the disadvantage in a lot of situations. Yes, the woman has a child. But if you look at it, the woman, what, what people are fighting for is a woman to say, my body, my choice. All right, let's let's look at equal rights or let's look at as it sits today. So if a woman says my body, my choice and she gets pregnant and as a result of getting pregnant, she decides, you know, what, I don't want the baby. I want to I want to abort this child. I don't want the baby. I don't want I just don't want to be a mother right now. Let's say the father of that child wants that baby. The father has no say so. It's her body, her choice. But if this was, you know, a whim, a one night stand, they both had sex. They weren't being safe. They didn't use protection, no birth control or anything like that. If the woman gets pregnant and the man decides that he doesn't want a baby, he's like, look, I don't want you to have the kid. You know, this wasn't anything special. We weren't in a relationship or anything like that. The woman can choose to have a baby. She can choose to have that child. And then guess what? She can come after him for money. So he can't come up and say, it's my money, my choice, or I can opt out of being a father. No, she's going to come after him or she has the right to come after him and she can force him to pay money that he wasn't expecting to pay because he wasn't expecting a child. So if you want to talk about equal rights, let's talk about equal rights. If you're going to really go fight for my body, my choice, it should be equal. It should, the man, this is called equal rights. This is not about superiority. Equal rights say that if a woman is saying my body, my choice, then equally the other parent of that child should also have the right to say that. I'm not encouraging fathers to not be there for their child. I, I don't support that. I'm saying the fact that if you want to talk about equality, this is equality. If it's going to be my body, my choice, it should also be the man being able to say my money, my choice. I don't have to be there for the child if I didn't want it. Why is it okay for a woman to kill a, an unborn baby, a fetus, and say, okay, that's noble, she's brave, she's making a very difficult decision, yet if a man's not there for his kid, he's deadbeat. Why is there such a contradiction on that? So what actually happened in the court, if people do the research, what actually happened in the court was 
they overturned this law because of the fact that they saw that there was no factual constitutional backing to the law. It should never have been in, interpreted that way. Uh, if I'm not mistaken to my research, um, uh, 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 Chief Justice Ruth Gator, uh, Bader Ginsburg was actually opposed to Roe v. Raid being passed. Um, and it was really interesting because she cited the same thing. She's like, this isn't, this is not constitutional. And this is actually how the country's supposed to work. The country's supposed to have checks and balances. The government's not supposed to control how the gov how states run their their own personal laws. So if you are uh, if you are seriously a supporter of abortion, this is an opportunity for you to go have your voice heard at your state level. But you also have to respect that there are people who oppose and also want to have their voices heard. So if you're going to fight for equality, <laughs> let your voice be heard. Let your voice be heard and also respect that other people have the right to do the same thing. So don't ostracize other people just because they have a different opinion of you. And don't be so quick to believe something with emotion when you need to be using logic. If you look at, like, do the research. Planned Parenthood is overwhelmingly found in areas where blacks are the minority. Overwhelmingly. They are also the number one customers in Planned Parenthood, black women. If you look at the United States Census, look at the last 30, 40 years of the United States Census and look at the growth rate, uh, uh, growth rate amongst the black community. Our race is the only race that has stagnated. It has not grown in the last 30 years. Why? Because so many of our, our men are going to prison because there's more cop and cops in areas that are mostly populated by minorities. And there's a lot of black fathers in prison as a result of said police interaction. More, more cops require more uh, tickets and more arrests be made so they can show that they need that many cops. Do the research. Planned Parenthood was created by Margaret Thatcher, who was a white supremacist woman who had called ch black children uh, um, a stain on the government. They were actually a, uh, a burden, as she would call them. She convinced a lot of black women to think, you can't take care of the kid, the father's not there, don't have the kid. But it was targeted toward black women. So you keep hearing people saying, oh, uh, the Republicans are racist, and these people are racist, these people are racist. But if you really want to look at the facts, the people who were behind Planned Parenthood, who targeted it toward black people, were the Democratic Party. Go do the research. Stop believing everything you see on Twitter, and everything you see on this media who's controlled by who knows who. The fact is, if you do the research and actually start reading some bills, you're going to start seeing that there's a lot more corruption in, right in front of your face that you didn't realize. Stop thinking of everything so emotionally and see that abortion has little to do, if you look at the numbers, very few in comparison with a total figure of numbers, very few of those people who get abortions had a, a, a life or death threatening uh, relation to the abortion. Very few in comparison to the total number were sexually assault, uh, sexual assault victims or victims of incest. Very few in comparison to the total. If a hundred, a hundred is a lot, but a hundred in comparison to two million is very few in comparison. So don't, don't start getting super sensitive over the word few. I'm talking about in comparison to the total number, this is a fact. Open your eyes, do your research. You're being you're being persuaded or you're being uh, uh, manipulated. Roe v. Wade is a good thing that it's been overturned. It might save a lot more lives and maybe finally the black community can actually rise up and start growing in other communities that need to start facing facts. If you can't just go out and get an abortion because you, you you didn't like the fact that you got pregnant, a lot more people are going to start thinking more carefully about birth control and also about uh, abstinence before marriage. If men can't get out of it, if a woman has to have has to have a baby, why should women be able to? It's about equality, not superiority.